Hello, so how to make a flag animation in Blender like this one? We can get the cube X and delete the cube. We need a plane, Shift A, Mesh, Plane. This is gonna be the flag, we can go in Z axis here to go in top view. We can scale it S, X, like this, put it like this. And we can apply the scale. So go in object, apply scale. Now this is going to be the flag. We can rotate R X 90. So it is like this G Z. And then we can put little pole here. Shift A cylinder S shift Z to a scale on only X and Y. So not on Z like this. S, Z, make it bigger. And then this, we can go in the Y axis here. G, we can move it, for example, here. Now the setup is done. We can get this G, Z a little higher like this. Now, to be able to move the flag, we need more subdivision on this because the mesh cannot move only this point, this point and the other one. So we need to subdivide tab to go in edit mode and then A to select everything. Right click and subdivide here. And then you have the little window at the bottom left. So um, this one and number of cuts, we can put 10 or even more 20 like this, 30 like this, tab to go back in object mode. Now we need to make this a cloth. So we can go in this menu in um, physics properties here and then put cloth. Now it is a cloth and here you have the presets here, cloth preset. And then I like to put silk. I think it looks good here. And now when we press play, I'm going to put the timeline here. When we press play space bar, the plane is falling. So we need to attach it, this part on the pole. So how to do this? Tab, edit mode, then the cylinder we can hide here. So this tab, edit mode, and we need to select all of these. These, we don't want this part to move, to fall. So we need to put a vertex group. So go in object data properties, vertex group here, plus to create a new one, and then these selected, these points, we need to assign to this group. Assign. Now, we go back in the cloth properties, physics properties, cloth, and then we have under um, shape, pin group. So this is going, is going to be pinned and not move. So pin group, we put the group we created name the group and we can rename if you want. Now tab object mode, we press play. This part is not moving, but it looks ugly. So you can do a right click shade smooth and then go in the modifiers, put a subdivision surface. So it's going to be smooth at maybe two and the render we can put three and then going to be smooth smooth now. Now we need to add wind. So we can put, put back the cylinder. Before adding wind, we need to make this a collision. Because you see the flag is going through this and the cylinder we can do right click shade auto smooth. So click on the cylinder, go in the physics properties and then click Collision. Now it is a collision. Let me press play.
doing like this and also the flag we need to put self collision so the parts are not going through each other's so we click on the flag and then we have collision and then put self collisions here now for the wind shift a and you have force field and you have a wind so you can put wind here so now we have this we can rotate our y90 like this or minus 90 on this side i'm going to move it um, here r like this gz so the wind is going to be like this you can put r a little bit or maybe like this And now, when we press play, you can see a little wind here is moving a little bit, but not enough. So we need to add more uh, power, more strength, more strength on the wind. So go in the physics properties of, of the wind and then strength, put more, like you can put 100, go back at frame one, space bar, now, a little bit and put 1000 here and now is a little bit better and we can pin more um, more points For example this we can pin it to so go in the object data properties and assign this to this group. So this are not going to move. Now it looks like this. And also you need to add little thickness to this because it is just it is just a plane right now. So you can put a modifier, add modifier, and then solidify. And then you see the thickness here you can put more if you want and click even thickness like this if you want and now and you can put an image on the flag of course you have my video on how to put images on objects if you don't know how to do it if you want to learn more about how to do 3d in blender you can check out my courses you have the link in the description also the the link on the screen see you in another video bye